A new discovery by Chinese botanists may reshape the international landscape. The U.S.-China tariff war familiarized the world with China's lead in rare earth refining. And now a new discovery by Chinese botanists further expands China's advantage in this field. The Guangzhou Institute of Geochemistry at the Chinese Academy of Sciences has discovered that rare earth minerals can actually form inside plants. The plant is a fern called Dicranopterus linearis. It absorbs rare earth elements from the soil and condenses them into rare earth mineral known as monazite la. The mineral mainly contains cerium and lanthanum, two elements widely used in the defense, aerospace, and electronics industries. Normally, monazite form deep within the earth's crust under extremely high temperature and pressure. Yet, these plants can do the same at a room temperature through a biological process. And scientists explain that this is the plant's self-protection mechanism. It packages and seals toxic substances by locking potentially harmful rare earth ions inside the mineral structure. According to the paper, the fern's fronds contain the highest concentration of rare earth elements, reaching 0.001735 gram per gram, converted into the mining industry standard unit, PPM, that is 1735 PPM. Rare earths are not abundant in nature, and anything above 1000 ppm is not considered low. And moreover, monazite formed through geological processes often contain radioactive elements like uranium and thorium, making mining difficult. Companies in Brazil and Australia have even shut down plants due to radiation risks. On the other hand, the rare earth minerals found inside plants this time are extremely pure, containing no radioactive elements. Good news for any future extraction or use. One might wonder whether this alternative comes with high extraction costs or unpredictable yields. Yet the US has already proven the new venture worthwhile. For example, the US Bureau of Mines produced 100 kg of nickel per hectare, a remarkable figure, using hyperaccumulator plants grown in soils too poor to be mined. The approach proved so promising that last year the US Department of Energy's ARPA-E program invested $10 million to support plant-based nickel extraction. Many elements occur only in low concentrations, even in mining areas, making extraction expensive. For these scattered, rare but essential metals, phytomining offers a viable alternative. And even if not harvested directly, plants can absorb heavy metals from contaminated mining soils, a cheap and environmentally friendly method for site restoration. In short, nature has far more unknowns waiting to be uncovered.